more factors involved in valuing and therefore classifying information. Uh, uh, we have, in, in, well, alluded to at any rate, um, the uh, exclusive possession and and I mean there's the possession of the information and and whether you possess it when somebody else doesn't whether it is confidential to uh, an attacker or a competitor and so the exclusive nature of possession uh, does have to do with it and and this will turn on things uh, like intellectual property, which we will discuss uh, in, in terms of things like trade secret. Um, so that, uh, is that kind of an interesting uh, characteristic. Uh, trade secrets uh, are important for exclusive possession when, when you are the only one who knows a particular process. Uh, that may be more cost effective or more productive um, that gives you a business advantage but uh, trade secrets in, in uh, commercial law are kind of interesting because they tend to say that uh, yes you can count it as your trade secret as long as you do in fact keep it a secret and so in, in a sense if anybody else finds it out then it's no longer a trade secret and you're no longer protected and, and I'm not quite sure what kind of protection it offers you as long as you were supposed to keep it secret in the first place. So, uh, that's... Uh, anyway, that, we'll, we'll discuss that more, as I say, in intellectual property when we get into law and uh, that sort of thing. Um, now, there is the, the utility of the information. Again, I have mentioned that... Uh, um, a, a trade secret, a, a process that only you know may uh, have a utility value because it, it means you are more cost effective, more productive, uh, you have a margin of profitability advantage in business. So, yeah, that, you know, there's obvious um, uh, benefits to that for certain types of information. And, again, you have to determine, is this uh, body of information, piece of information, whatever it may be, subject to that kind of qualification? Is it, uh, you know, should it be classified differently than some of your other confidential information? Um, there is, uh, as, as we mentioned, the cost of creation of the information, the, the building of a database, um, and then the, the recreation. And as I said uh, in the previous section, um, can it be recreated? If it can be recreated, again, how much is it going to cost you? So again, the, the valuation there. Um, and uh, well, sometimes that's the valuation, sometimes it's the, the value of the information to your business and, and whether or not, if it's lost, um, it, it, all the value of that information is, is lost and all the value of the business is lost. Um, then there's issues, again, going to law in terms of the liability of, uh, you know, are we supposed to hold this information confidential um, and here we get into issues of, of privacy uh, confidentiality of our, our customers um, sometimes our employees um, and did we fail to keep information protected when we had custody of it when we are the stewards of this information so you know we can be liable if our actions or lack of action cause injury to someone else in terms of the disclosure of, of information or that type of thing. 
Now, there is always, uh, and I mean, you know, we, we're talking about information here, but there's the issue of convertibility um, in many, many ways. Um, and of course, you know, the information, can this information be sold? Is Does this information have a value to a number of people where someone taking this information, well, or really any other asset, can they turn it into cold hard cash? Uh, so a number of aspects there and, and we need to address that in terms of, you know, how likely is it that someone is going to attempt to obtain, to uh, copy uh, and to retail. Uh, this asset, whatever it is, but particularly in terms of information for the purposes of information classification. So, um, oh, there's, uh, in addition, what is the impact to our business if the information is not available? Does this, you know, stop our business in its tracks? Does this degrade our, our business or our ability to conduct business in a profitable manner. So all, all of these are factors in terms of uh, the classification of information. How valuable is it? How should it be protected? And in what ways?